How's it going guys? David J. Woodbury here with a quick tutorial on affiliate marketing in 2019 and four easy steps to do affiliate marketing in 2019. Um, so I'm just going to start off with the first step. Uh, what the first step to affiliate marketing is, is choosing a niche, choosing a product uh, that you want to be in. And what this means is um, choosing a niche like exercise or diet, for example. Uh, and diving deeper into that niche and coming out with something like keto uh, for you know diet weight loss. You don't want something generic. Um, starting off, just because it's a little bit harder, you can typically find more dedicated uh, groups of people for products in uh, diving in deeper um, to an expanded or sub niche. So go ahead and choose a niche that you enjoy that you would like to create content for, um, that you won't get burnt out on. Uh, you want to be able to create content for this um, niche easily. You want to be able to enjoy it or, or you're just going to get burnt out. So you want to make sure that you can continue creating for this niche until you're actually making money. Um, and then you can kind of wean off and then go into something else. But try to stick with one thing for a while and things will work out. You'll, you'll, stay less stressed and you'll probably won't get burnt out doing affiliate marketing. So uh, it's supposed to be fun. You're supposed to be working from home, enjoying what you do. So we'll just dive right in here. Um, after you've chosen your niche, what you want to do is uh, we're just going to use Facebook in this tutorial, but um, you can venture off in other platforms uh, later on. So as far as Facebook goes, what you want to do is just go out there and join um, five to ten of these groups that you enjoy, you know, in these niches that you enjoy. Uh, make sure to read their rules and regulations that it's okay for you to post and and then post at your own risk, I guess, at that point. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a way to keep your posts from looking spammy. So you don't want your posts to look like spam or affiliate links because people get turned off by that. Uh, and you have a better chance of getting banned from a group. Uh, but I'm going to show you a really natural way to do affiliate marketing without looking like spam. So the first tool is obviously Facebook. Um, picking a niche. I have this Tiny House Nation page uh, that, you know, I, I, I do affiliate marketing in the Tiny House niche. So I'm just going to use this as an example. Um, so I have this page here that I started. Um, and this works in groups uh, and, and in other pages that you join. So go out there and do that. And uh, once you have joined these groups and pages and you've uh, got the okay to post in them, um, just do your due diligence there so that you don't get banned right away. Um, and then the second step is using uh, an affiliate network to find a product. So what you want to do is go out there, and we're just going to use Amazon as a, as a uh, as an example today. So I'm on Amazon now, and I'll show you that in just a minute. You can go out there and use things like ClickBank. Um, you can use JVZoo, Warrior Forum, Max Bounty. Uh, there's tons of different affiliate platforms that you can uh, use, as well as big big box stores like uh, Best Buy, Walmart. Um, a lot of these big companies have affiliate programs. So just go out there and find a network that you can get affiliate products from and promote in your niche. Okay, so uh, the next step is going to be using a site called card.co. And this is free to start with one site. Uh, but what I would suggest doing is actually um, upgrading to the pro plan. And you'll see how cheap this is. This is really crazy how cheap this is. Uh, I've been testing this for a little while now and it's working great. Um, so $49 for the Pro Plus account, 25 sites. Uh, and that's $49 per year, not per month. Uh, so you'll see the $9 for three sites. So you can choose any one of these that you want. I would suggest uh, if you're really going to hit the ground running, just doing the $99 uh, for the year, that gives you 100 sites, gives you all these extra features like no branding, um, image shares, which are very important, and I'll show you why in a little bit, um, Google Analytics, uh, all that stuff if you ever need that down the road. Uh, and you can actually download your website to use uh, on a different hosting uh, platform like WordPress, etc. So this is really cool and extremely cheap, so uh, I would jump on that. 
so you'll want to create an account here. Like I said, you can create a free account to start one website, so you can just kind of get the hang of it. Um, but I would suggest uh, upgrading um, as soon as possible. That way you can continue to build content. Uh, so once we're here, uh, what I've done is come to my affiliate um, network, which is Amazon in this case, and I've found uh, this little stove right here that works for camping um, cabins, and obviously it could work in a tiny house. So I found this product. Uh, it's a good price, three forty nine. It's not too expensive, but it's not too cheap, uh, because on places like Amazon, you're only going to get you know six, two to two to ten percent typically. Um, typically the lower percentages uh, but there's millions of products here that you can promote so this is just a very common one um, so I found this product and what I did is I came in here uh, we will come back to the dashboard and what I did was I just clicked new site right here and then it had me choose a template uh, I'm gonna come right inside of here and show you the website that I created again we're just gonna keep this really simple because a lot of affiliate marketers out there uh, we'll try to complicate things for you and tell you you need all these different tools. Um, I use a lot of different tools and they're great, but you do not need tools uh, to start. So don't get that stuck in your head. You don't need tons of money. You don't need any money to start. I started with uh, in the negative, <laughs> basically, when I started actually making money. So um, what I did here is I just created this website. So this is the template I chose. Um, I customized it. I added this background image. Um, you just click on uh, these cells and you can edit them. So, you know, you can edit the information here and then click done or you can delete it uh, or copy, uh, make a copy of it. Um, edit the information here. Uh, very easy. So what I did was I just created this little website for the stove uh, using all the information from Amazon. So I used all these images. Um, I used this uh, description down here. I used some of this these titles. Um, and I just went ahead and created this little website. Very, very professional looking. Um, just a quick one page website. I put a call to the action at the bottom. Um, and then you'll see right here I added a button. And how you add, add cells and, and different elements is you click this plus button and then you can you know insert whatever you want so what I did was I clicked this uh, or I created this button and if I click on it you'll notice it goes to my Amazon link uh, which takes us straight to our product here for people to purchase so they'll come to this website and they'll think it looks very cool uh, you know whatever and they'll come down here and and they'll go ahead and purchase it uh, and then what you want to do is once your site is built, you'll come over here and click this uh, save button and this will pop up. Um, the title here is very important. This is the tab title. So this uh, is the title that goes in your internet browser up at the top. And then description. This is a description that you see in Google search results. So if you happen to rank for this, um, you know, when you type something, there's always a short description with uh, any search results. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the the card.co URL, uh, and then I customized the subdomain, so it's winterwellwoodlander.card.co is my link. So very clean, very simple. You can even use your own domains, like if you have some on Go, uh, GoDaddy, uh, or you know you just have some laying around that you want to use, you can go ahead and do that. And then you'll just uh, come up here to the the photo tab and you want to make sure to upload an image here and what this does is enables a share image so when you share your link on social media an image populates and looks more professional than just words on the screen and I'll show you that in a second uh, the icon you want to make sure to put something here this is um, icons like you see in the tabs up, up at the top of my page here uh, and also, if you notice on a cell phone, if you save a page to your home screen, I don't know if you've ever done that, uh, but you'll notice a little icon pops up, uh, and that this is what what this uh, favicon populates for. So you want to make sure these are filled out, and then you want to just go ahead and click publish. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my dashboard, and then what we can do is just drag 
this up into into the uh, URL field and then paste it and we have our link here so this is our website right up here go ahead and copy that you can see it looks very professional um, and our little images up here everything's worded correctly check your spelling all of that um, and one more thing on the website itself you can actually word all this yourself if you'd like but where you're promoting their product uh, it doesn't really matter if you uh, use their information uh, but you can feel free to go ahead and reword all this. You will have a better chance of ranking if you do come up with original content yourself. But I'm sharing this around and I don't really care about ranking in this instance. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use all the information off Amazon, which is what I did uh, just to build this quick little one page site. And then I'm going to come over to my group or page and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. Um, and then you'll notice this image populates. Uh, and then once this image populates, you can go ahead and delete your URL that would usually be sitting up here. You can delete that out of there and then just go ahead and post it and keeps it very, very clean. So you'll notice I, I posted this uh, last night uh, and you can see how, how professional this looks. It doesn't look like spam. It doesn't look like you're spamming an affiliate link. Um, you know, I got, 525 people reach, 24 engagements. Uh, if I click on it, and then you'll see it takes me straight to the page I built, and then down to the call to action. Um, we'll click that, and you'll notice it takes us straight to Amazon. Um, and the way we can verify this is right up here, you'll notice our uh, affiliate ID. So we're being tracked right now. Anybody that clicks that will be tracked and any sales that are made will go to my account. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, so I would just, you know, like I said, choose five to 10 groups, go out there and post maybe once every three to four days in those groups. Um, and, and just start sharing your links around. Uh, what you can also do is go to Google, maybe type in, um, for this example, tiny house forums, like in Google, look up different forums, find different conversations people are having in your niche, and then maybe you can provide a little bit of value and then go ahead and share your link and uh, hopefully get some traffic and sales that way as well. So, um, you know, Pinterest works very well. Uh, any type of designer, home decor, stuff like that works very well on Pinterest. Uh, camping stuff. Um, you can do this on Twitter, obviously. Uh, Instagram, this works very well on Instagram. You could create a whole page uh, and then and just build out um, you know different different niche products like this and different pages to uh, promote to. So a very simple way, like I said, go ahead and share your links uh, maybe once every three to four days, uh, kind of rotate through different products and uh, just start generating that traffic. Um, stick with it, keep sticking with it, and you'll start to see results. Um, this is a very quick way to, uh, you know, hit the ground running and start implementing affiliate marketing, uh, in your daily business. So, uh, just wanted to share this quick video with you. Oh, one, one more thing too here on the website. I wanted to mention down at the bottom, I forgot to show you guys this, uh, in card.co, there's a spot at the bottom, um, for the copyright. You know, I just put in something generic. Teeny Tiny Living Adventures uh, 2019, all rights reserved. So uh, just make sure to put something down there so it's not the generic card uh, information down there. You want to you want to customize that. So just make sure to verify that everything is uh, built on the website. Very cool, very cool platform uh, to build websites on. Extremely, extremely cheap. Uh, I was very surprised to find out the price of this. Um, and it seems to be working great. So I would highly suggest that. Um, I'll leave a link to card below. They don't have an affiliate program yet. So um, I don't have one to share with you, but obviously go out there and, and set up an account. And like I said, I would upgrade uh, to the $99 per year for 100 sites. That'll get you a lot more content uh, possibilities um, to get out there and start creating. So uh, go ahead and like this video if this helped you. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Um, 
as far as affiliate marketing, entrepreneurship, whatever it may be, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.